Hello, my learners in Basic 9. Today is a special day because it's our first lesson in mathematics on radio. I am your radio teacher, Samuel Guglielmi. Since today is our first lesson, I presume you do not have the needed materials for today's lesson. Do not be worried. Quickly take some few minutes and get for yourself exercise book or notebook, pen, pencil, eraser, and a rule. You are welcome back. I hope you have all the materials. Good. Keep them on your table or on the floor where you are sitting. Before we begin, let's take a quick starter to warm ourselves up. I hope you are ready for the starter. It goes like this. I am a two-digit number. The sum of my tens and ones is seven. What number might I be? I hope your answer could be one of the following two-digit numbers. Sixteen. One six. 25, 25, 34, 34, 43, 43, 52, 52, 61, 61, and 70, 70. Good. Our topic for today's lesson is sets of numbers. Sets of numbers. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to 1. List the members of sets of numbers. 2. Determine elements which are not members of a given set. Note these key words down and repeat them after me. Sets Elements Members Kelly Bracket In Basic 7, we learned about a set let us quickly revise what we learned about a set. Explain the term set. Discuss your explanation with your caregiver. Good. A set is a well-defined collection of objects of the same kind. A set is a well-defined collection of objects of the same kind. State examples of a set. Well done. I hope you stated examples such as a set of fruits, a set of colors, a set of shapes. Turn to your caregiver and mention your examples to him or her. Good. 
list all the factors of 12 in a set form. List all the factors of 12 in a set form. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. In a set form, it will be open curly bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Close curly bracket. I hope you had it correct. Well done. Let us note that components of a set are called members or elements of the set. Also, members of a set are enclosed in a curly bracket. List the factors of 36 in a set form. List the factors of 36 in a set form. Factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, and 36. In a set form, it will be open curly bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, 36. Close curly bracket. Well done. Clap for yourselves. How do we name a set? How do we name a set? Discuss it with your caregiver. Okay. We use a capital letter to name a set, while we use lowercase letters as the elements that belong to it. Give two examples and show them to your caregiver. Now let us look at how to list members of a given set of numbers. List the members of the following sets. Number 1. Set of even numbers less than 10. Number 1 again. Set of even numbers less than 10. Number 2. Set of prime numbers greater than 5 and less than 20. Number 2 again. Set of prime numbers greater than 5 and less than 20. Number 3. Set of factors of 20. Number 3 again. Set of factors of 20. Let your caregiver help you. For the number 1, which says set of even numbers less than 10, using capital E to represent a set of even numbers less than 10, the set will be capital E equals open curly bracket 2, 4, 6, 8, close curly bracket. For the number 2, which says set of prime numbers greater than 5 and less than 20, using capital P to represent set of prime numbers greater than 5 and less than 20, the set will be capital P equals open curly bracket 7, 11, 
thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. Close curly bracket. And for the number three, which says set of factors of twenty using capital F to represent factors of twenty, the set will be capital F equals open curly bracket one two four five ten twenty close curly bracket great you have done very well now learners since we have learned that we use capital letters to represent a given set in the subsequent examples i will be silent on the word capital and mention only the name of the letter to represent a given set consider set o which is a set of odd numbers between 30 and 40. Let us list set of numbers between 30 and 40. O equals open curly bracket 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 39 close curly bracket check the elements if they all belong to set o that is if they are all odd numbers if not let your caregiver help you to rewrite set o correctly good I hope you were able to do it. Remember, an odd number is a whole number that cannot be divided exactly into two pairs. So our answer, O equals, open curly bracket, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39. Close curly bracket. Learners, what have we learned today? Today, we learned that capital letters are used to denote or represent sets. That lowercase letters are used to denote elements of sets. That curly bracket denotes a list of elements in a set. How to list members of a given set. How to determine elements which are not members of a given set. We have come to the end of our lesson for today. You have done very well for staying in today's radio class. Read over what you have learned today before the next class. For your homework, refer to pages 2 and 3 of the worksheet and complete the tasks. In our next lesson, we shall talk about subsets. Come along with pencil eraser, pen, rule, and your notebook or exercise book during the next class. Till we meet again next time, it's bye for now. Till we meet again next time, I am your radio teacher, Samuel Kuglenu. <laughs>